I know you like this motion. Hey, Power Director peeps. Happy Saturday. Today, I'm going to show you how to use motion graphic titles using Power Director 18. If you always wondered if you could use motion graphics with Power Director, I want you to put hashtag motion graphics in the comment section below. Here we are in Power Director. Motion graphics titles are resizable and repositionable graphics and text with pre-designed motion. They can be used for intros, outros, lower thirds, and much, much more. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get down on some motion graphics titles. Let's put some motion in the ocean. I want to make an intro that I can use on all of my videos. So the first thing I need to do is add a background to the timeline. Now, you can use whatever background you want, an animated background, a picture, or any old stinking thing that you want to use. I'm going to use a color board. So I'm going to go up here to the library and I'm going to go to media content and I'm going to left click on that. And then I'm going to go to color boards. Now I like all these colors in here, but I want to create my own fresh and clean color board. So I'm going to click on the create a color board option and I'm going to select from color selector. When I do that, the color selector comes up and you can go ahead and utilize this. You can click here for different colors and it'll go ahead and choose the one that you want. You can choose on these basic colors here, but I'm going to create the color that I want to create because you guys know how I get down. I like being unique. So I've already went and found the RGB values that I need. So I'm just going to put them in here. There's a lot of different color selectors that you can use online to find out, uh, to basically use on anything that you want that's on your computer screen to figure out what the RGB values are. Just look up color selector or RGB selector or something like that and you'll find plenty of them. So now that I have the different values that I want in the red, green, and blue value, I'm gonna click on okay. And as you can see here, it went ahead and created the color board that I want. Now, basically the color board's name is the RGB value. So I don't want that to be the name of this color board. I want it to be something unique for myself. So I'm gonna right click on this color board and I'm gonna go to change alias. This way I can change the alias because right now the alias is these numbers and I'm gonna change it to pudding. Cause to me, it looks like some old vanilla pudding or something uh, or scotch, butterscotch pudding, I don't know. But now I'm gonna go ahead and click on enter. And so it added it to the end and you see here it's called pudding. So what I want to do now is go ahead and drag this down into the timeline. And now my color board is in a timeline. And now I need to go ahead and change this back to media content so that if I want to use some different media, I can see it here. And next we need to go ahead and add the motion graphic. But before we do that, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And don't forget to follow PDU Tutorials on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for even more Power Director love. Now, let's get back to the breathtaking tutorial. To add the motion graphics for the intro that we're creating, we need to go to the title room. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And it brings us to the space where we see all of the content. We need to scroll down till we go to the motion graphics section and left click on that. And now you can see here that there's a bunch of great motion graphics that we can use on here. And there's a few of them that stand out to me for like an intro like this one here. I think this might be a nice little intro. You can see it in the preview. Looking all fresh and so clean, so fresh and so clean. Hey. So that might be a good intro that you might want to use, or maybe even this one here. Got some cool little static thing going on there. You know, a little uh, color shift going on at the same time. So that's a pretty dope one. Um, or maybe even this one here. A nice, simple, little, clean little intro just shows it opening up and coming on the screen. So. There's a lot of different types of motion graphics here that you can play with. Um, some of them are lower third. Some of them are good for intros or outros. I mean, there's all type of good stuff that you can use. The one that we're going to use for this video, the one that you saw at the beginning is here. 
Now we need to change up the text on this. So I'm going to left click it and drag it down to the timeline right underneath my background. Now this is 10 seconds long. I don't want it to be 10 seconds long. That's way too long for an intro. So I'm going to left click on it, place my cursor at the end till I see two arrows pointing in separate directions. Hold down my left mouse. I'm going to drag this in till it matches the length of the background, which is five seconds. So now I have a five second intro, which still might be long to some people, but it's way better than 10 seconds. I'll tell you that much. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and double click on this to go to the title designer. So here it tells us that we're editing a motion graphics title and there's only going to be some options available. So I'm going to click on OK. Now, let me tell you a little bit about these options. The only real options that you have on here are to change the text and then you can do some movement. So you can move the position of the motion graphic. You can change the scale, the width or the height. Um, you can rotate it. That's about it. So you can't change any of the graphics or move them independently, switch them out, change the color of them. Hopefully in future versions, you'll be able to do that. So what we're going to change here is we're going to change the text. So the first text on here is power director. So I'm going to select power director. I'm going to change the matter of fact, I'm going to leave that to say power director because I want it to be for Power Director University, but I am going to change the font. And we're going to change it to that one there. Now we'll go ahead and we'll select the second part of the text, which is by Cyberlink. I don't want it to say by Cyberlink. So I will change that in a second. But the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and change the font. Now I'm going to change the text. Matter of fact, let's go back to this and change this too. Awesome. So now we got the text that we want. We got the different font. I'm not going to make it bold or italic. I'm going to leave those things as is. But what we do want to do is go down to the object settings. So if we wanted to change the scale, we could do that here. You can type it in, you can change it. You can see it changes it there. I could change it back. If I uncheck uh, maintain aspect ratio, then I can change the height and the width independently of one another if I want to. I'm going to recheck that. Uh, I could change the position of where it is on the screen. So you got all that goodness there. So let's go ahead and recenter this stuff. You can change the rotation here. So you got all those options that you can do with the object settings, but you can also go ahead and change things from right here on the preview screen. So if I want to drag it, I can place my cursor here until I see the crosshairs, hold down my left mouse and I can drag it to where I want it to be. So if that's easier for you, you can do that. Uh, you can also go ahead and change the scale. You can uncheck maintain aspect ratio and you can change these things independently from one another. So you got all those options. Pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. But I'm going to leave everything in the center, as you can see here. So I am good to go, baby. So now what you could do is you can go to save as. If you click save as, what it will do is it will allow you to create a saved template that you can use over and over again. And if I don't want to have to go through and create this Power Director University intro again, then I could do save as. If I do OK, it will just save what I did to the timeline and that'll be it it'll be a wrap i would have to come back in here and create this thing again but since i want to save it i'm going to do save as and i'll just call it pdu putting intro and i will click on okay 
And now I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay again to save it to the timeline. Now, as you can see, it sent me back to the title section here, but now I was in the motion graphics section and it sent me back to the custom section. Well, it sent me back to the custom section because guess what? Anything that I create is now here in the custom section. Now, you don't have the ability to save the background. So I was not able to save the background. So I'd have to bring the background in every time, but at least the motion graphic is saved. So if I go back to motion graphics, you see all the options again. I go back to the media room. If I go ahead and click on movie and I play this, you see a pretty dope intro. I'm loving it. And that's how you make motion graphics in the title designer using PowerDirector. If you decide that you like PowerDirector and you want to buy or upgrade to the software or purchase a 365 annual subscription, I'll leave some links in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.